So the elevator pitch for executives. Um, the definition here is a short summary uh, used to quickly and simply define any person, any profession, product, service, organization, uh, event even, um, and its value proposition. So in the job context, think of it as you and your value proposition. So I'll break it into sort of three parts, I suppose, if you um, are thinking how to work your way through this elevator pitch. Introduce yourself first, so uh, the discipline you work in, CFO, CEO, CIO, whatever it is, the sectors that you've worked in, or primary sector. Second point would be the value that you brought previously. And remember in that particular point, you need to make it tangible. So you need to have your pound, euro, or dollar value in there, uh, percentages, whatever it might be. Um, if you're someone from a HR background interviewing, then human impact is a, you know, a decreased turnover, in other words, things like that of staff, I mean. So all those things are valuable as well, but primarily try and demonstrate your value in a monetary sense to some degree. The third point is the aspirational piece, really. So as you're finishing off the elevator pitch, so now I'm looking for a specific role within such and such an industry, and that would be why you're there talking to them in the first place, obviously, but make that last bit very punchy and then know when to end. Don't be talking five minutes later. You know, an elevator pitch is just that, very, very brief. So please do keep it brief. Another quick bonus tip for you is, um, let's say you've got a meeting with a recruiter coming up and you think, mm, yes, this is quite good. You put, your, um, you put your best clothes on, you put your best foot forward, you turn up at the meeting, it might be a coffee shop, it might be a hotel, it might be their offices. And you sit down and uh, the recruiter says to you, uh, so Steve, thanks for coming in. So tell me what your three key areas of value that you'd bring to a new role are? Don't be shocked by that kind of question. So again, it's come up many times. The examples I've given you here are because we've had feedback from clients and their previous experiences. Um, prepare. Don't treat that recruiter, headhunter, search consultant meeting as a sort of a formality, a sort of a coffee meeting plus, let's call it. Treat it as if it is the interview itself and sort of prepare four questions uh, about your value. So practice your elevator pitch in that context. Um, and also practice your three, it could be three or four or five things within that value statement. Three is not a prescriptive number. Just get a few, remember them. Practice your elevator pitch and practice your value statements. Thanks very much indeed. Hi, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it was of use to you. Now, remember to visit our website. You're gonna get a lot more information there, which is going to help you in your job search. Uh, if you'd like to have a chat about your own situation on a one-to-one -one basis, then I'll be more than happy to do that. You can contact me via the website, via social media, whichever suits you, and I'll be happy to speak to you. All right, thank you.